<laughs> Let's ride with Dale Jarrett and the UPS onboard camera. Now there's Michael Waltrip just in front. He gets wrecked. Obviously, everybody's in front of Dale Jarrett. I mean, he's going right down. Peter, back down. Stay low, back down. Stay low. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. That's a good job. That's that's as close to stopping as you can come without stopping. Nice job, Dale. All right, we've heard from Kevin Harvick and Tony Stewart. Here is Joe Nemechek with Steve Burns. Thanks, Mike. He's talking with crew chief Ryan Pemberton. And, uh, Joe, you've had a chance to look at the replay, and you were hot when you came out of the care center. Your thoughts? Oh, I'm still hot. You know, Kevin Harvick thinks he owns the world, and he ain't squat, you know? Uh, that wasn't my fault out there. Somebody tried making it three wide coming off the corner. Here we just restarted the race with six laps or five laps to go. And, uh, Where's you know, the replay, it, 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 I guess it's Tony Stewart in there, but... You know, things have, everybody's racing hard. You know, you want to get up there in the transfer spot. We all pitted and had good tires, and, uh, you know, just something happens there. I don't, I, don't, I don't exactly know why that happened that quick, but uh, uh, I got on the outside of guys. I'm trying to be careful on new tires, and uh, I had a great car. I'm just I'm sorry for all the U.S. Army folks, my team. Uh, they work hard building these cars, and we came here to win. You know, the first 40 laps, you sort your car out, and then you go on, but... Uh, Looks like some people got impatient. As far as Kevin Harvick, he can do what he wants to do. You know, he thinks he owns his racetrack, but he ain't squat. Joe, what did he say to you over there? Oh, uh, he's just being an idiot, just being Kevin. A rough night for Joe Nemechek, Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, and the other drivers like Dale Jr. getting caught up in that wreck. <laughs> Got hard in the back of Carl Edwards in the 99. You can see how hard it hit Carl. Edwards hey, bad, Pete. His car up. Okay. I can see him. I can see him. Uh, we just got a little right front, guys. Get your stuff ready. <laughs> That's My very rookie in the All Star race who has a short night, perhaps. It's Pete. Yeah, let's find out. Mike Casey Kane coming off a win at Richmond, and uh, we'll give you an opportunity to see the replay. All right. Sounds good. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it. We had a pretty good run going in our Dodge Steelers. We were working on it. We definitely weren't as good as we wanted to be, but it uh, yeah, looks like everybody's just kind of going for it. I, I tried to shoot for the shoot for the grass and miss the cars coming back to the left and wasn't able to do it. But it's an all-star race. Everybody's going for it, trying to trying to get up front, trying to put on a good show for the fans, and uh, just uh, had a little wreck there. We're on board with you on another angle. Let's watch, Casey. All right. Here's, uh, yeah, I saw the 20 coming, and turned left, but it was too late. Uh, looks like about three cars got together there, and um, we were right in the middle of it. It's too bad for our Dodge dealer's car. Uh, thanks, Stanley's and Stanley and uh, everybody else. I mean, it was just a tough night. Casey, how bad is the damage? Can you get back out there? No, we can. Our steering's broke, brakes are broke, wheels are broke, uh, axles broke. Everything's kind of shifted over. It hit the wall a little bit. Not too hard, but it hit it hard enough to break everything. We'll see you next weekend. All right.